Hi everyone, welcome back to Data Universe BI. I'm Rashid, and today we're diving into the exciting world of data analysis using Python. But here's the twist we'll be using DeepSeek AI to generate the code for us. If you've ever wondered how to analyze sales trends, compare regions, or evaluate brand performance, this video is for you. We'll use powerful Python libraries like Pandas, NumPy, and Matplotlib, and with the help of DeepSeek AI, we'll make the process even easier. Why should you watch this? Whether you're a beginner, a student, or a professional looking to upskill, this tutorial will walk you through each step in simple, easy to understand language. By the end of this video, you'll know how to clean and prepare your data for analysis, visualize sales trends over time, compare sales by region, brand, and even by day of the week. Data analysis is a superpower in today's world and with tools like DeepSeek AI, it's easier than ever to unlock it. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's get started on this journey together. Open the search bar and type Anaconda. Select Jupyter Notebook from the results. Once Jupyter Notebook opens, click on New and select Python 3. Rename the title of the new file. Now your project is ready for analysis. First of all, write a title, then select Heading from the code dropdown. Press Shift plus Enter. First things first, we need to import some essential Python libraries. Now, what are libraries, you ask? Well, think of them as pre-written code that helps us perform complex tasks with just a few lines of code. They're like the secret sauce that makes Python so powerful and efficient. Here's the prompt we'll use to generate our code. Write a Python script that imports essential libraries for data analysis and visualization, including pandas for data handling, the NumPy library for numerical operations, matplotlib for creating charts, and Seaborn for improved graph aesthetics. We'll paste this into DeekSeek AI and it'll generate the code for us. Let's take a look. Go to Jupyter Notebook and paste this code and press Shift plus Enter. Let's break this down. Pandas cleans and manages data. NumPy handles calculations. Matplotlib creates basic charts. And Seaborn makes them look stunning. Your complete toolkit for data analysis and visualization. We need to load our sales data set. We'll use Pandas, library for data handling, to read the data from an Excel file. Here's the prompt we'll use to generate our code. Write a Python script that reads an Excel file into a pandas data frame using PD Read Excel. The file is located at this location. After loading the data, print the first five rows using the head function. Then copy this prompt and paste into DeepSeek AI. Go to Jupyter Notebook and paste this code and press Shift plus Enter to run this code. Now you can review the first five rows of dataset. The file path variable stores the location of the file on your computer. The R before the path ensures Python reads the file path correctly, especially if there are special characters. DF equals PD dot read Excel file path. This line reads the Excel file from the specified path and loads it into a data frame, which we're calling DF. A data frame is like a table in Python. It stores your data in rows and columns, making it easy to work with. Print DF head. Finally, this line prints the first five rows of the data frame. The dot head function is like taking a quick peek at the data to understand what's inside. It's a great way to get a snapshot of your data set. First of all, write a title, then select heading from the code dropdown. Press shift plus enter. missing values in each column. Now I will copy this prompt that pasted into DeepSeek AI and search it. Then copy the generated code into Jupyter Notebook and press Shift Enter to run this code. Let's discuss below output. Left side. Column names in your data set. Numbers. Missing value counts for each column. All zeros. Perfect. No missing data here. If you see numbers like 10 or 100, those columns have missing values to fix. If you have missing values here, then you to fix those missing values. Why fix this null values? Because unresolved nulls 
can lead to inaccurate analysis and may cause errors in your code execution. Now, follow these simple instructions. Copy this prompt number 4 and paste it into DeepSeek AI. It will generate the necessary code for you. Then, copy the generated code into your Jupyter Notebook and press Shift plus Enter to run it. That's it. By following these steps, you'll ensure your data set is clean and ready for further analysis. First of all, write a title, then select heading from the code dropdown. Press Shift plus Enter. Now we have to understand the data. Simple copy this prompt and paste this into DeepSeek AI and search. Copy code of data.info and paste this into notebook and press Shift, Enter. When we run data.info, we get total entries, 84,314 rows or records, total columns, 10 columns, column names and data types, O region, territory, brand and day name are text, object type, O actual date is a date, date time type, O retail, sales, wholesale, and total sales are numbers with decimal points, float type. O month and year are whole numbers, int type, non-null count, no missing values. First of all, write a title, then select heading from the code dropdown. Press Shift plus Enter. Now copy this text prompt and search this in DeepSeek AI. Copy the generated code into Jupyter Notebook and press Shift plus Enter to run this code. Let's break down the Python script step by step. First, we ensure the actual date column is in the correct date time format using PD to date time. This allows us to work with dates effectively. Next, we extract the month and year from the actual date column using .dt to period m. This creates a new column called month year which stores the month and year for each entry. Then, we group the data by month year and calculate the total sales for each month using dot group b and dot sum this gives us the aggregated sales data for every month to visualize the monthly sales trend we create a line plot with markers using dot plot kind equals line marker equals o the markers help highlight each data point on the graph we add a title and axis labels for clarity the title is set to monthly sales trend the x axis is labeled month year and the y axis is labeled total sales. The plot is displayed with a figure size of 10 by 5 inches, ensuring it's clear and easy to read. Finally, we use plt.show to render and display the plot. First of all, write a title, then select heading from the code drop down. Press Shift plus Enter. Now copy this text prompt and search this in DeepSeek AI. Copy the generated code into Jupyter Notebook and press Shift plus Enter to run this code. First, we need to ensure our actual date column is in the correct format. We do this using PD to date time DF actual date. This helps us perform date related operations without any errors. Next, we extract the weekday name using DF actual date dot DT day name. This will give us values like Monday, Tuesday, and so on, which we store in a new column called Day of Week. Now, let's calculate total sales for each day of the week. We do this using DF group by Day of Week total sales sum. This groups our data by weekday and sums up the total sales for each day. Simple, right? But wait, by default, pandas may not sort the days in the correct order. To fix this, we use reindex days order to arrange them from Monday to Sunday. Time for some visualization. We set our figure size using plt.figure fig size equals 8,5 and then create a bar plot using sales by day plot kind equals bar color equals sky blue. This gives us an easy to read chart. To make the chart even clearer, we add a title, x label and y label using plt title, plt x label and plt y label. This makes sure our audience understands the chart at a glance. Finally, we use plt.show to display our beautiful sales analysis chart. And that's it. First of all, write a title, then select heading from the code drop down. Press Shift plus Enter. Now copy this text prompt and search this in DeepSeek AI. Copy the generated code into Jupyter Notebook and press Shift plus Enter to run this code. 
dfbot group by open parenthesis region close parenthesis groups the data by region total sales sum calculates total sales for each region built out figure fig size 8 5 sets the chart size for better visibility sales by region plot kind bar color by green creates a bar chart with green bars built out title sales by region adds a title built out x label region labels the x axis built out y label total sales labels the y axis built out show displays the chart first of all write a title then select heading from the code drop down press shift plus enter now copy this text prompt and search this in deepseek ai copy the generated code into jupyter notebook and press shift plus enter to run this code first we need to calculate total sales for each brand we do this using df group by brand open bracket total sales close bracket sum this groups our data by brand and sums up the total sales for each one. Next, we sort the results in descending order using sales by brand, sort values ascending false. This ensures that the brand with the highest sales appears first, making it easy to compare. Now it's time for visualization. We set our figure size using plt. Dot, figure fig size equals open parenthesis 8, 5, close parenthesis so the chart looks clean and well proportioned. Then, we create a bar plot using sales by brand plot kind bar color orange. This gives us an easy to read chart with orange bars for better visibility. To make the chart even clearer, we add a title using PLT title sales by brand, label the X axis as brand with PLT X label and the Y axis as total sales with PLT Y label. This helps everyone understand the chart at a glance. Finally, we use plt.show to display our beautifully structured sales chart. And that's it.